Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Ivan Steph and you guys, I swear, this virus really be bringing out the worst in people. Like, I really don't get what's so hard about wearing a mask. Whether you believe in it or not, what it comes down to is whether you respect the rules and whether you just respect other people in general. You don't see me going to Walmart and giving a one-two Mayweather knocking out a four-year-old child sitting in a shopping cart. And trust me, I'm more than capable of knocking out that four-year-old like he's the next Nate Robinson, but first of all, I respect the law, and second of all, well, I don't really think that kid wants to get hurt. And the same applies with COVID. There's something called the law regarding the mask, and also people don't want to get sick because of others not wearing a mask. Now, where I'm going with this is that about a week ago, there was this group of three Karens from California who refused to wear a mask in an Uber and then proceeded to assault the driver. The video itself is disgusting, but her response to this entire situation makes it even worse. So for today's video, we're going to be looking at the entire situation, roasting them, exposing them, and just having a good laugh. But before we get into this, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already, or else this girl will cough in your mouth as you sleep tonight. <laughs> but anyways, as always, let's roll the clip. Wow, who pissed in this girl's Cheerios? I honestly think that McDonald's might have accidentally given them a sad meal. All right, so to give you all a bit of backstory to what led up to that moment, we got Cinderella's two ugly stepsisters and the wicked stepmother herself. So it was March 7th, a sunny afternoon, and these three spoiled brats ordered an Uber. When they got in the car, the one on the right who looks like she's deep throating a whole ass pool noodle wasn't wearing a mask. The driver then asked for her to put one on, she refused, and it escalated from there. There's just so much wrong with that clip that I showed you, so let's break it all down. Not wearing a mask is one thing, but then she started swearing at the guy, coughs her lungs out on him, says the N word. Then there's her friend who happens to be black and doesn't care that her non-black friend said the N word. Anyway, so she joins in and says that she has corona and then starts giving some weird dinosaur mating call. Then the mother witch yanks off the driver's mask and reaches over to take his phone. And then when he tries to stop her from, you know, touching his property, they all get super defensive and yell at him not to touch her. My brain literally just hurts. Like this girl took Buddy's phone and after all of this, she's the victim of the situation. Like give me a break. No, you you don't touch my property. You don't buy it. You don't buy it. I work hard for it. So, so did it like this? So in this clip, they're parked on the side of the highway and she's yelling at the driver that they're not going to get out in the middle of nowhere. But then he says that earlier on, he stopped at a gas station, asked them to get out, but they refused. Did I told you to get out in the gas station? You didn't. Like, I don't get it. You ordered the Uber, you stepped into this guy's car as a customer, and you can't even be a decent human being by respecting him and respecting the rules. And it's not just his rules, it's Uber's policy to help protect the health and safety of everyone. Face coverings or masks are mandatory for anyone riding or driving with Uber. And believe it or not, when you order an Uber, you sign that contract saying that you're gonna obey that. So if you don't follow the rules, you don't follow their policy, like what do you think is gonna happen? They're not gonna serve you. And honestly, this situation is very sad, but to be honest, what kind of makes it just a little bit funny is that this all went down just one day before International Women's Day. No, these three are not real women because if we were to say that, then that would be a disgrace to all women out there. Anyway, so as I said earlier, this girl made a few responses to the entire situation because she was getting a lot of backlash, so let's take a look. That's what I was taught. So if y'all boyfriends told y'all to let this Uber, let y'all get out the car and get robbed or whatever the f*** would have happened, now that's on y'all. <laughs> Hell no. Oh my god, what in the Pennywise kind of laugh was that? <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real though, this girl was acting like the Uber driver was trying to kick them out for no reason and that she's the victim here. Now, look, I, I can't read people's minds, okay? But maybe if she, you know, calmed down, put on a mask, and just sat there with her mouth shut, the Uber driver wouldn't have asked her to get out of the car. And he lucky as hell I ain't have nothing on me on mamas because if he would have played with me, bruh, it would have been a whole different story. 75% of people I know would have smacked the shit out of him or done some crazy ass off the wall shit. 
All I did was smack, take his mask off. And cough a little bit, but I ain't even have Corona. So at the end of the day, honestly, right now she's just making the entire situation worse because not only did she do what she did in that video, but now on top of that, she's threatening him, and she didn't exactly say what. But I mean, you don't have to be a genius to know that she isn't referring to a gun. I, I, I really like. I, I don't understand society. Like, how do we go from you know playing like Nintendo DS and like Beyblade and like playing with like Barbies? Now wanting to shoot people because they ask you to put on a mask in their car. This truly, it hurts my brain. I, I, I just, I don't understand people. Honestly, I think that would have been one of those crazy news headlines you hear in Florida. Woman shoots Uber driver after refusing to wear a mask. You just read it and it, it, it's just unbelievable. It sounds like a joke. This stupid ass Uber, bruh. Oh, mamas. That's why I take Lyft. That's why I take Lyft. So she said that for this exact reason, she doesn't like taking Uber and she'd rather take Lyft instead. Hmm, interesting, because listen to what Lyft had to say about this entire situation. Although this incident did not involve the Lyft platform, the unacceptable treatment of the driver in this video compelled us to permanently remove the rider from the Lyft community. Driving in a pandemic is not easy. Please wear a mask, respect one another, and be a good person. This girl's better hope that she's got some good hiking shoes because no company is ever gonna give her ungrateful, spoiled ass a ride ever again. This girl's probably never worked a day in her life. I was looking at her Instagram and she spent her birthday at the beach riding a horse. She's got a Mercedes, she's got a bunch of Louis Vuitton, Christian Dior, an AP watch. She's been to Tulum, Virgin Islands, Hawaii, and she doesn't exactly what to afford all this. Well, I'm not actually sure, but her bio says owner of at Foreign Skennel. So let's take a look. Oh, she's a dog owner, and she did limit the comments, but according to the two comments that are on there, apparently she um sells these dogs with AIDS. Yeah, um, I don't know. Either way though, after seeing that video of her, whether she has worked or is currently working, no one is ever gonna wanna hire her ungrateful, spoiled ass ever again. This man legitly tried to kick us out in the middle of bus nowhere in the hood. What if something happened? Damn what? Then we wouldn't have been wrong, right? First of all, it, it wasn't in the middle of nowhere. They were parked on the side of the highway. And before that, they were at a gas station. But that's her problem that she didn't want to get out there. And second of all, if you're so scared of the hood, then what are you even doing in the hood in the first place? This girl likes to pretend being all gang gang with her slang, being disrespectful, showing off all of that designer clothes, posting pictures with her middle finger out, posting videos beeping and threatening to shoot people but she's scared of getting robbed. Like, how are you gonna claim that you're living that type of life, but then be scared of every single person who actually lives that sort of life? Girl, if you're gonna act all tough like that and wanna be a gangster, then walk the talk. This girl is so fake that she makes all we London, the guy who spent over $100,000 on plastic surgery to make himself look Korean, look like his face is real. And also, why do I get the gross type of vibe that this girl smells like expired hot dog water? Sadly, this type of behavior happens a lot to Uber drivers, fast food workers, and any other type of service related job. And most of the time it goes unnoticed. Like I've been working part time in a fast food restaurant for about three years and the amount of disrespect that I've gotten and my colleagues have gotten at work, you know, just trying to do our job, just make a living. It's sad, it really is. So at the end of the day, I feel for this driver, I really do. Okay, so a little bit of an update while I'm editing. I wasn't aware when I was filming, but this girl got out on a $75,000 bond. And now she's living her quote unquote, best life in Miami, drinking cocktails, eating steak, and someone who physically and verbally assaulted an Uber driver, violated COVID guidelines, and even threatened to shoot the driver, shouldn't be able to go out and celebrate like this. Especially since this isn't the first time she assaulted an Uber driver. Here's a video of her and her friends assaulting an Uber driver in Hawaii. Come ignoring. it's cold in here. You won't even cut the heater on. A little more. No, no. AC, nigga. No. Cut it We're off. paying, you're not, no. No. <laughs> We're paying no. you. No, go, go, go. Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. Now, now you got me hella fucking mad. What the f*** are you doing? I don't want to argue with you. Please. Don't talk to me. <laughs> Why are you mad? <laughs> 
Since she's done this sort of stuff at least two times, she poses a threat to society and should be locked up until her trial. The case is obviously still being investigated, but I really do hope this girl and her friends see some jail time. But sadly, I wouldn't be surprised if this girl got very little jail time, if any jail time at all. And that's some pretty girl privilege. I hate pulling out the race card, but I know the circumstances would have been different if it was a big black guy, someone like Floyd Mayweather's physique, who assaulted an elderly white Uber driver that looked like Betty White. And this is a big part of the reason why I wanted to make a video on this topic, to create a bigger outcry and hopefully help demonstrate my anger to the justice system so that she is properly punished and does see jail time. Anyway guys, that's officially gonna do it for this video. So if you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. But until next time, it's been Ivan Steph. Peace.